Another thing that's in our favor here is morale. You, Southside was in such a hurry to take the gate that he didn't even wait for his soldiers to get drilled properly. So as his units get wiped out, all his other units are going to take a penalty to their morale. So that could cause some units to be routed. Just because of that, just because of morale. It doesn't really seem too smart. I feel like he, they could have put together... I've seen the AI put together assaults that are... You know, game overs. Much more effective than this. This seems kind of... Patched together. Like this right here, he's just st stacking troops on Tong Gate. And eventually he'll launch an assault and it'll probably be so strong that it'll just, you know, wipe my force out. Okay, so he's just now crossing the valley. You see what I mean? This territory takes so long to get into. So this is cool because by the time I get up to these mountains, he's going to be a little bit further down. And I should be able to just cut off his supplies and strand his army. And it might cost Juan Xiao that whole victory in the north. It'll probably set him back, I think. Okay, I keep checking reward, but they're not they're not dropping at all. So that's actually good. That would be a real drain right now. Okay, let's try to lower Oh both both two gens are here and I don't know which one's what. So let's see. This is the one four thousand sixty eight. Okay, let's lower his morale. That's that one. And yeah, commerce, public order. Okay. Let's search. Sate, Mairu to Suruka. Orders only 40 here. If I get an opportunity to, I will try to put another bandit on this city and see if I can get bandit units to spring up. Okay, so there's another morale hit. Okay, nobody's finding anything in Luoyang. See a bunch of fails there. The morale is getting dangerously low. Okay, South South's got more forces on the way. I see those two. I think that's it. Okay, Yuan Shu's starting to make his presence known. I actually feel like South South has gone and spread himself thin by using all his spare soldiers and wasting them on me, attacking me at the gate. He's really spread himself really thin. Just made it easier for the AI next to him to attack him. So that might set him back. And Yuan Xiao, I feel like, is going to have the same problem. If I'm able to cut off his supply, which it looks like I'm going to be able to, I have to be careful not to be attacked by the gate. So my only concern is that that gate attacks me. You know, I'm just going to wait here one more turn. So I'm going to leave him on his regular route. I'm going to let him get one more turn up ahead, and then I'll try to cut off the supply. Because I don't want to get too close to the gate. I also don't want to get too close to the unit. Because it's a bow unit, so it can shoot me. So it'll just shoot me to pieces right away. Okay, let's see. I really don't want to put any more money into that stuff, so... Already off to an awesome start. An awesome start. Some excellent gate defense, which, you know, has nothing to do with player skill. Don't get me wrong, you know. 
It's just a gate. It's to, that's just how difficult gates are to take. And that's what I knew about this guy. When I saw that, when I was looking at the map, and I saw those two little diamonds, and I saw that he had the, both gates, I was like, okay, he has a chance. Because these gates are going to be so tough to take. You can't lose them, though. If, you, if I lose this gate, if he surprises me and just quickly takes Hang Hu gate, which I need to reinforce, actually. I need to keep up with these numbers so that he can't surprise me and take it quickly. But if I lose Hang Hu gate, then I'm in trouble. But I'm not nearly as in trouble as I would be if I lose this gate to South Cell. Losing the gate to South Cell is like a game over situation. Okay, our envoy has arrived in Rome. You can just imagine my envoy. He's there in Rome and he's wondering if he should stay there because he's like, you know, I might not have a faction to come back to. You know? Let's return home. Okay. Okay, he's still standing pretty strong there. We really need to find somebody with goose. If we can find an officer who has goose formation, then we can place him behind the gate. Mayu. Okay, Zhang Su, he's, he's found some good officers in one. He's got two really good ones. I highly doubt I'll be able to get him. Let's see. Okay, so more importantly, we're still allied with him. Let's see how much longer. One more month. Okay, so we need to do this quickly. Once our alliance is over, we'll become stranded ourselves. So I think the best way is to go straight... Well, let's be safe. There we go. So we should be able to strand Yuan Chao's army. Probably our most... If we get it... If we get it, it'll be the most significant contribution to this whole... You know, to this whole playthrough, to all of China. In terms of all the players on the board, that, that'll be our more significant impact. We'll be sneaking a guy around the goat path and cutting off the supplies of Yuan Shao's crazy, crazy huge force. Oh, no, he's, he's deployed to... Okay, well, he's deployed to uh, to stop us from doing that, so. Darn, that would have been nice. Let's see if we have a suggestion. Maybe there's something we can do about it. Mm, no, we don't have anything. Okay. So we might be able to lead him. Okay, well... Got 21. I'm not gonna deploy against him because he's just, just not gonna happen. We don't have anybody who can match him. We just have Su Huang, and he's so far away. I try to confuse, but again, they're so, they're so expensive. 
that's gonna take some getting used to. I'm not used to those suggestions being so pricey. Okay, so if he's gonna return, we just have these two more coming at the gate, so we might get a brief break in the action. Right now, I wanna see I wanna see if Su Huang's gonna be able to break off engagement. Because he is an owl formation, it's supposed to be a lot faster than fish. But disengaging is another story. So No, no, it doesn't look like it. Oh, wait, he is running away. Oh, wow. That's... You might be able to do it. He did it. He did it. Yes. Oh man, the absurdity. The absurdity. With 20 soldiers. 20 soldiers. Wow. What a legend. What a legend. Look at this army. Completely cut off. <laughs> oh man, that is great. He might still take it. I mean, he's got so many. He's just got so many soldiers here. He might still take it, but look at the look at the morale hit. They've been restrained. They've been thrown into confusion. I mean, it's going to give him at least an opportunity to do something, make something happen. So Okay, let's see if he can run in a circle and just make his way home. I mean, that was it. Just, just amazing. I'm amazed. I'm sure... I'm sure it's been done. I'm sure it's been done. I'm just saying it's... It's, uh... I'm amazed. He was able to do that. 20 soldiers. Just barely. Just barely enough. Okay, I don't think we can do too much. We're just going to have to try to improve our personnel. Oh, man. I don't like... Keep saying yes, but... It takes two turns to get there, so the officer might not be there. That's what's been happening. Every time we get there... You know, he's already, he's off on a mission, so. Keep trying. Okay, we're also going to reinforce. Hang, hang who gate. Transport. Just a few more soldiers. Okay, let's get him over there. That's it. We'll just search. I think our guy's actually going to get stuck out here because we're not... Yeah, you know what? It might be better for him just to try to march through. Even if he gets eliminated. Because it's going to ruin our relations with uh, this guy. If he does survive. Our alliance is about to expire. So if I tread onto his territory while while our alliance is expired, it's gonna uh, ruin our relations. So, which is a small thing. It it might not matter, but let's say he does survive. You know, maybe I can do this again in the future for him. Let's just watch Yuan Chao's army be completely stranded. Okay, so he's, he's taking advantage of it, too. He's deploying a unit. Look at this. 
This is Yang Liang, one of his best generals, and he's just getting trounced. Kong Rong, yeah. No supply line established. Okay, Sao on the way to the gate again. There's a lot of soldiers to be set back. A lot of soldiers. So he was able to conquer Kong Rong, of course. And he was going to do the same to this guy. And then it would have been Gong Zun Jiang by himself, essentially. This way, we might be able to keep a power balance up here a little bit by keeping Yuan Shao in check. So, I think it was good to halt his expansion, his early expansion at least. Um, hmm. So, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to try to see if I can cut off the supply route again. Even though his is cut off himself, but he's only got 20 soldiers, so... Let's see if we can repair Hualao. Okay, I didn't think so. Five thousand. It's not too much, but it's enough for now. I think all we can really do is search and try to employ. We really need some officers. We're three turns away from January, the new year. That might give us some more officers. Okay, so his unit should be wiped out, so... What a start. Awesome start. <laughs> awesome start. Let's see if Su Huan can keep uh, tiptoeing around here. Okay, we've cut him off again. Okay, he, he remade it. So I don't want to cut across Zhang Yang's territory. So I'm just going to try to keep going around. And cutting off the supply line as much as, as much as I'm able to. If I'm able to cut it off one more time, great. If not, well hey, at least I got it once. At least sabotage is still fairly cheap. It's only 400. Okay, so he's got some officers. The next wave is heading up here. I wish we could fix the gate right now. That's what we need to do the most. Is repair Hualao. But that's kind of up to the suggestions and we don't really have it, so... Whew. Okay guys, well, I think we're going to end this first part here, this opening start to Rise of Cao Cao as Yang Feng. I um, hope you enjoyed the video so far. Uh, if, you know, I would really appreciate it if you could like, subscribe. I'm going to keep, uh, keep up with this one. I'm really, really excited to see how things turn out with this one. I didn't think it was going to be such an interesting opening, but it's been, uh, it's already been a lot of fun. So, um, yeah, check back in another day or two and then I'll have the next part up and then I'll keep going from there until, until, uh, things, 
things hopefully pick up or you know they go south either way i'm gonna keep playing this one out so again uh my youtube channel archive gaming and uh you can also catch me on twitter at archive gaming 3 and uh yeah uh, we'll catch you on the next one guys